I'm Knuckles the Echidna. Just call me Knuckles. We were able to locate Eggman's secret base deep inside the pyramid. Now we need to find the key to open the door to get to the other side. What? Why do I have to find that key? That's not my job, but I'll do it. I have to because it's for the Master Emerald. I'll show you the skills that make me the ultimate treasure hunt. Hey guys, welcome to the Death Chamber, Death Chamber, Death Chamber. Uh, oh crap, I forgot. So, um, <laughs> sorry about that, there's supposed to be a little power up there called the Hammer Gloves, which allows you to break iron containers. I practiced this level a little bit before I played it, just to, uh, just to, um, sort of get used to the layout of the map and stuff. And I had to get the hammer gloves in order to do that, so I kind of already collected them, so I'm sorry about that. But now you at least know where they are. Hopefully I won't make a mistake like that again. Okay, looks like the first key is here. Now, normally I can beat this level in like 5 minutes. I believe my highest time for this is like 3 minutes. Or maybe 4. I, I can, I'm pretty good at this level. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people hate this level because it's kind of difficult if you don't know the map. But the thing is that you have no reason not to, since there's actually a map at the very beginning of the level that you just have to turn around. And then press pause, and you can just look at it for as long as you need to. So I'm kind of messing up. Oh, it's inside the robot that just hit me. Thank you, Mr. Robot. And yes, that was a reference. Okay, let's get over here, kill him. Yeah, awesome. Okay, let's see. We're in the purple room. See? That's the map. I had to memorize that. It's not too difficult. Uh, I'll just take a random direction. I don't, I don't know. I guess I'll go this way. Okay. Whoa, that was fast. I don't think I'll need to go that way, then. Maybe I can just go back the way I came. That would be an easier way to that. An easier way to get out. Come on, Nux. Let's go. I said let's go. There we go. Now break through that. Keep on going. We got this, Nox. We got this. Captain Knuckles. It's funny because later on... I'm sure you already know this, but... They were looking for a spaceship here, and they do find it. And then I believe it's Knuckles... Uh, Knuckles, like, messes with the controls and, complete, and like, uh, makes them crash into the into a place and then he falls into space and it's weird but you'll see because we are in the last level before the space saga that's what i like to call it because everyone's in space because like this is the end of the um pier like the not pyramid i guess like eggman's base type thing so we're no longer doing eggman's base stuff and yeah that, that, that's something that, that's totally something. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god, I don't even know. I don't even know. Mm -mm. Um. Just. Beauty and the Beast? What's that supposed to mean? Are you saying I'm ugly? <gasps> that's horrible. You horrible, horrible individual. How dare you! Shame on yo! Ah, yes. Okay, let's keep on going this way through the death chamber, death chamber, death chamber. Okay. Well, I'm getting lost. Well, I'm not really getting lost. I just have no idea what friggin' Beauty and the Beast means. Oh, another thing about this level that's kind of difficult is the clues. Oh, it's over this way, but... A lot of the clues are kind of weird. Like, you actually have to think for a second. Instead of just being like, oh, it's under that mountain on Pumpkin Hill. No, it's like, uh, what what does this mean? We're in Beauty and the Beast? It's one of these things, I'm guessing. Or maybe it's on top of the statue. No, I doubt it. Maybe, yeah, we'll probably have to go all the way up there. Maybe, or maybe not. Let's see, is it on the statue? Doesn't look like it. 
Okay, come on, Nux. Over this way. It's not over there, so that means if the camera stops being a biatch. It's going to be over, over here somewhere. Can't see a thing, but it's around somewhere. God hold my head, cause I can't, cause I, I messed up. God hold my head, cause I have no fear. This probably seems crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, death chamber theory. A uh, ghost tried to approach me. He got Larry, Larry the Lobster. Rip Larry the Lobster. He saved Knuckles from a ghost. Okay, well now I know where it is. It's all the way over there. Yep, it's that. It's like in that cage. I'm guessing. It's gotta be there. I don't know where else it could be. I love how I've spent like two minutes just trying to reach this, and the camera doesn't even let me. I hate the camera in this game. Uh, it's like my main problem with it. It annoys the crap out of me. It's, it's over here, maybe. No, it's not in the treasure chest. Oh, but we're right by it. Where is it? Is it really in the cage? No, it isn't. That's too low. So, how... What? Where? Where is it? Let's just check the cage. It is there! What? It really didn't look like it. Okay, well, we spent like three minutes or two minutes just trying to... get the thing iron protects whatever. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's see, so if we found one in, I believe, what was it, the purple room? And we found one here. The last one must be in the green room. Or no. No, we found one in the green room, so it's gonna be over here. Or was it the... Was it? No, it, yeah, we, we just... We found one here, but I don't know. Sometimes they, I think they have two in the same section, but I might be wrong. The game might always put, uh, one thing in each section, one key in each section. I uh, don't quote me on that, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure that's usually how it works, so we're gonna have to find the green area. Get out of here, you ghost! You got Larry, but you're not gonna get me. Mm-mm, because -mm, unlike Sonic, I don't chuckle. I'd rather flex my muscles. I'm hard as nails, they ain't hard to tell. I'll break them down whether they're solid or frail. Oh my god, that song. That friggin' song. Please don't get hit, please don't get hit, please don't get hit, please don't get hit. I didn't get hit. Sweet. Uh, yeah, I should get the bubble shield thing. The electric shield, I guess. I think this is the way to the green area. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Now we have to hit a few switches, kill a few robots. Just the usual. Okay. That reminds me of that one part of, like, Sonic Colors. Where Sonic is like, I went shopping, I got some food, and I destroyed a giant robot. And then Tails is like, wow, they have shopping here? That was like the best line in that entire thing. Actually, no. No, the best line in Sonic Colors was, no copyright law in the world is going to stop me. That's the best thing ever. No copyright law in the world is going to stop me. That That's just, oh my god. Sonic is a pirate! Bum bum bum. So I'm gonna have to hit that. Yep. No time for guessing. Okay. Pretty sure that was pointless, actually. Now we're in the red area. I complete. I could have just gone in the main room, and I would have shaved off like three minutes. You know what? I'm just gonna keep on going this way. Whatever. Screw the rules. I'm all. I'm already way behind my normal time, so I might as well just take even longer. I'm probably going to get like a D in this level anyway. So I've gotten hit like once, or twice. And that's a lot, and you know it. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh wow. I made it. Okay. Well, now we are in the green area. Uh, oh crap! I went the wrong way. Didn't die. Well, the room with no entrance. What's that supposed to mean? Is it one that I go through through one of those, um, little, like, holes in the wall? <sighs> well, I guess I'll find out. Whatever. Get over here, Knuckles. Okay. It's not around here. Oh god, Knuckles, don't get crushed. Ugh. Okay. Let's get over this way. 
in the death chamber, death chamber, death chamber. Uh, secret room between the red room and the green room. We were just there. Game, really? And where's the stupid hourglass switch? Oh, it's down here. Right? No. Oh, there it is. Okay, nothing. Let's hurry up. Don't have all day. In this death chamber, death chamber, death chamber. Ow. Oh, oh, there it is, there it is. That's gotta be it. That's gotta be where it is. Come on. Please. Game. Come on. It's, it, how would it not be there? Whatever, let's just keep on looking. I guess it does have an entrance, technically. Don't tell me, has it been right there the entire time? I could've... Ugh. Game. Really? It's right over here? Great, okay, well now I have to destroy the Gamma lookalikes. Out of here. It's probably in this room. Oh, yep, it's like right in that box. Yeah, right there. I think. Oh no. No, it's probably in be behind those uh, iron crates right there because that's how the game would be. I think there's enough room for me to just get through. Or not. Okay. Oh wait. Try again? Yeah, there we go. And only took 10 minutes and 52 seconds. I If I get anything higher than an E, I will be surprised. Because I did horribly. A D. See, I told you guys I would get a D. That was tough. <laughs> Wait, what? Whoops. Okay, here's a cutscene, so... Huh? Who's there? What the... A ghost? King, boom, boo. And it's even in green letters. King of ghosts. Also, sorry, I bumped my microphone there. I should probably try to silence the audio in Audacity. I'll do that. So you guys won't need to hear that ear rape. Now, King Boom Boo. I don't know why they named it that. Seriously, there's already a King Boo. Well, actually, no. Th this game was made in 2001, right? Was Mario... No, Luigi's Mansion was around at that time, so yeah, there already was King Boo. That was a thing. Or was was it just Sonic Adventure 2 Battle that was made in 01? Or was Sonic Adventure 2 for the Dreamcast made in 01? I, I don't know. I'll just... I'll, I'll find out later. But yeah, why... If there's already a King Boo, why would you name something King Boom Boo? It just sounds exactly like it, except with Boom before it. They should have called it King Boo... Boom. Bam. Also, what's this tongue? Why is it like a rainbow colored tongue? What's. It's kind of messed up. Same with his eyes. Now, this boss is pretty annoying because you just have to run back and forth and back and forth until you get lucky and he starts throwing fire at you. And even then, sometimes. Or no. I think he has to spit fire at you. And then when he does, you can. Yeah, like that. Then you can hit this ghost here. Then it will flip the hourglass switch over, which then makes him flee. I don't even know if- well, yeah, it is a king of ghosts, so it would be a him. It would be a male. So then what you have to do is you have to dig him out of the ground, and to then just chase him and punch the crap out of him. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you can get two or more hits in on him. Oh, oh crap, I'll, uh, whoops. <laughs> I accidentally pressed the start button. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, that was such a fail. Okay, anyway, if you're lucky, you can get at least two or more hits on him. Recently, my friend Brandon, or Bacon Burger King 1, you probably know him, or you probably knew him before he knew me. I wouldn't doubt it. Anyway, so he recently talked to me, and he was all, well, it wasn't recent, it was like a month ago, but he was like, Justin, I got like four hits on King Boom Boo, and one hourglass thing, and I was like, holy crap, man, that's awesome. Cause it is, because the boss only takes, I think, four or five hits, so... Brandon must have taken out most of his HP. It's not really hit points, it's more like... Power bar. Oh, bam. Okay, I think... 
I don't think this boss is going to take too much longer. I'm pretty sure I'm almost done with it. Unless I completely mess up. Which I wouldn't doubt that happens from time to time. And I got a message from someone. That's amazing. Oh, crap, I got a message from... Whoa, that's weird. Okay, uh... <laughs> wow, very professional. I am so, so professional, aren't I? Getting messages on my phone in the middle of the video and then looking at them. I am the most professional of video makers ever. And yeah, I can run around while holding or while holding my phone. Well, I wasn't really holding my phone, I was more like, I just pressed the button and then looked at it. So, mm -hmm. it doesn't take too much skill to do that. Also, I'm used to doing that, because I had to do that a lot a while ago. At one point, I actually had to use my phone to record my audio. I actually had to do that point because my microphone broke uh, back when, on one of my older channels, and so, yeah, I had to get used to doing that for a little while. Okay, King Boom Boo, you're just about done. Just let me kill you. No, you're already dead. Does it work like in Dragon Ball Z, where if you get killed when you're dead, then you, like, die forever and you can't come back or anything? Or what? I, I don't know. But regardless, we're still going to kick King Boom Boo's ass in less than... Boom Boom? No, Boom Boo's ass in less than five minutes, hopefully. There we go. Please work. Usually he like dodges whenever you reach him, so it's it's kind of annoying. You'll see right here. Yep, there we go. He always does that. And I missed. I don't think Oh my god, no, no, I'm Oh my god, he is dodging you way too much. Come on. Yeah, I beat him. Okay, I was hoping I would be able to beat him in less than a minute. Okay, well there we go. We've now beaten King Boom Boo. It's actually been a while since we had a boss, but uh, that's going to be it for this episode. It's just, uh, this is going to be a cutscene, so see you guys next time. <sighs> that was pretty rough. We did it! Let's go, Amy! Yeah! You little thieves! Did you really think you could get out of here alive? Come and get some, Eggman! Just leave it to me! Destroy. 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 Dest